Farmers in Essex are counting the cost of the extreme weather last week. Crops valued at hundreds of thousands of pounds were destroyed by hailstones. The farmers say they now want financial help from the government. Here's Richard Daniel. Massive hailstones hammering down in Thaxted last week. Robert, I've never seen damage like this before. Well, neither have I. First time. Absolutely devastating, isn't it? It looks as if someone's come through here with a flail mower. Eight days on, Robert Caton still can't take it in. The scale of the damage on his 200-acre farm is immense. We hope it's a one-off. We're having trouble getting our head around it. We just... We don't know what to do now. We've never seen this devastation. This is our year's work. To us, you know, they're more than money. We look after them, we tend them all year. Um, it's, 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 it's quite hurtful, yeah. This is what the crop should look like. It's due for harvest in about three weeks. But take a look at this. Battered, bruised, a pod split open. They reckon they've lost around 50% of the crop in this field. Nearby, an estimated 90% loss in a field of oilseed rape. Smashed from pods, the seed has now germinated, creating a green carpet on the ground. And in a field of oats, once destined for the breakfast table, a similar story. I've been walking crops in North West Essex uh, as an independent agronomist for 35 years and I have never seen devastation like we're seeing in this winter oat field uh, right here. We think we've lost about 90% of the oat crop that, it, that Robert will harvest in two or three weeks' time. It is on the ground and we haven't got machines to hoover it up. Twelve farms in a ten-mile stretch of land barely half a mile wide were hit by the storm just weeks before harvest. The losses are estimated to run to hundreds of thousands of pounds. DEFRA have a disaster fund, so farms that suffered severe flooding back in the winter, uh, I understand, have been supported by that fund, and I think this is equally devastating. The hailstorm is the latest in a series of extreme weather events. For Robert Caton, in just a few minutes, it wiped out a year's work and threw his business into loss. Richard Daniel, BBC Look East. Thaxted. So that raises the question, what is happening to our weather or is it just what happens from time to time? Zoe Johnson is from WeatherQuest. So hailstorms at this time of year are actually not that unusual. If you're going to see hailstones, the most sort of intense that they are at this time of year are during the summer. However, hailstones up to three centimetres in size is quite uncommon. So, so what's causing it? So um, last Tuesday, when we saw the sort of really severe thunderstorms and those large hailstones, it was a really hot day. We had temperatures of 28 to 32 Celsius across the region, so really quite warm at the surface, but higher up in the atmosphere. It was a lot cooler. We had a cool upper trough, and this created quite a large temperature difference through the atmosphere, and that led to a lot of instability, which is one of the key ingredients for thunderstorm formation. So that's why we saw so many severe thunderstorms across the region. We seem to be getting long dry periods, long wet periods, long dry periods, long wet periods. Is that unusual? Again, it's not really that unusual to have unsettled weather through the summer. I know we all like to have a lot of sunshine and that's generally what we'd expect, especially some of the last few summers that we've had have been quite warm and dry. However, it's not that unusual to have such unsettled conditions in summer. So, so to blame this on climate change, would that be wrong? It's very difficult to link certain events directly to climate change, but what we can say is that a warmer atmosphere can hold a lot more moisture. So as the climate warms, there is the potential for these events to become a little bit more intense. So we're talking about heavier downpours of rain, more frequent sort of large hailstones and generally more intense thunderstorms. So uh, we are likely to get this more often in the coming years, do you think? It's actually difficult to comment on the frequency of these events. We can definitely say that they are looking like they'll become more intense, but the science behind climate change is so complex that it's very difficult to say whether those storms will become more frequent. And over, you, you can't look ahead to the next month and say, well, that's it now, we're going to be fine, or we're going to have whatever weather we want. 
I wish I could say that. I wish I could say it was going to get lovely and sunny and warm. However, over the next few weeks, it does look to continue in that sort of unsettled feel. I also think it will be a lot cooler than average over the next sort of coming weeks. There'll be some warmer, drier days in there, but generally feeling quite unsettled and a couple of degrees, degrees below average. Zoe Johnson, good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Stuart.